Hey, this is Robert, and today I'm going to show you how to do green screen in iMovie 10.0.6. So let me just jump right in here real quick. Basically, what we're going to do is uh, a similar thing I've got set up right here. You can kind of see. So we're going to basically be putting a person onto a animated background, and you'll see how we set all of that up. So let me delete that, and I'll show you how this works. All right, so basically you're gonna need two things. You're gonna need a, uh, a piece of footage with your talent shot on a green screen, and then you're gonna need a background. It can be a still, or it can be an animated background, it can be whatever you want. Um, so the first thing that we'll do is import the, uh, the animated background, and I've got a little uh, virtual studio here that we'll use as our, um, as our background. And then the next thing that we'll import, just drag and drop it into the, uh, onto the timeline, is our talent shot, shot on a green screen, just like that. And actually, it's really, really easy to uh, to do a green screen from a key in iMovie. You basically just select the uh, the clip that you're trying to remove the green screen in. Come up here to Video Overlay Settings. Choose the drop down right there, and choose Green slash Blue Screen. That will uh, detect auto detect the uh, the green in the shot, and um, then it will uh, remove it displaying the content or the video or the still behind it on the timeline. There's not a whole lot of uh, settings in the green screen uh, effect, but you can adjust, make adjustments to uh, the softness of the key, which kind of uh, softens the edges around uh, the subject. You can do a, uh, a really, really rough mat, uh, garbage mat type thing where you can, uh, you've got four points that you can uh, use to go around your talent. So that way if you had, uh, if you had the edges of your green screen were showing up on the sides or you know something like that then you could uh, you could remove those pretty easily without having to have without having to add another crop effect or anything like that. And then you also have a um, uh, kind of an eraser tool where if you've got any kind of extra pieces of green or blue screen you can kind of select and try to erase those which will just kind of broaden the range of uh, greens and blues and shadows that the uh, that the software detects and removes. So you can kind of see, if we play back through here, how we've got this set up. You can see her anime a little bit. Of course, our cropping um, was a little bit too much. She moved into the cropping area, and so we would have to adjust that to uh, make it work so that uh, she doesn't have her hand get cut off. And then on this uh, particular background here, it actually uh, loops, but there's a part here at the end where uh, where it goes green, um, which just allows you to knock this out and use it as a background and put your own uh, footage in there as well. Um, but if you weren't using that, you can um, you can come to this right here. You basically just move your time slider to the frame uh, before the green screen starts. Uh, right click and uh, do split clip and then you could delete that right there and then what you can do like most people have you know three five minute you know three to five or even longer video presentation and so you basically just trim off that green part where the uh, where the background screens turn to green and this is a perfect loop this 25 second clip right here is a perfect loop and so you can just copy it and paste it or Command C, Command V, you can just copy it and paste it on, oops, on down your timeline like that. And then now we've extended the uh, background animation. And if I play through, let me play back into here, you'll see that it just goes straight into the next animation. And so you can copy and paste for as long as you need on that timeline for as long as your presentation is. So that's pretty much the, uh, that's pretty much it. It's pretty easy in iMovie. Other video editors, you'll have more, um, uh, the, the ability to do more uh, layers and, and that sort of thing. iMovie is just a little bit limited as far as, you know, the number of layers that you can do. And so I'm gonna actually do another tutorial where if you wanna do um, multiple videos inside, you can do that. And that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in any of the backgrounds that we have, uh, just go ahead and click the, uh, the link in the description. We'll throw it in there below. Thanks. Bye.